Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel channel. In this video, we are going to extend my Python interview question playlist. And today I came with came with uh, one of the interesting interview question in Python that usually interview will ask. So this is nothing but you know, two sum problem, but this is the easier version of two sum problem that I can say. So let me just read the question and then uh, we can discuss it further. So what interviewer asked me is they have given in the list of integer and target value. Write a function to find all pair of integer in the list that add up to the target value. The function should return a list of tuple where each tuple contain two integers that add up to the target values. So what does it mean is let's suppose that this is the list they have given to me and and they have given them target value 7 here. Okay. So we need to find out the number that will add and it will be equal to the target value. So in this list we can see 2 and 5. 2 and 5 will be adding up and it will become 7. And similarly 4 and 3 or 3 and 4 is there. So we are having 2 pair of tuple and we need to return in this format so if you see this is nothing but two sum problem i can show you the two sum problem lead lead code but this is little bit uh, easier version of two sum problem i can say because in the two sum problem here there are the same things um, list that is having number target is there but instead of uh, um, pair of the number here they are asking integer of that means integer means uh, index of that means let's suppose that you need 9 how you need 9 you need 9 means 7 and 2 2 and 7 so what is index of 2 index of 2 is 0 what is index of 7 1 so 0 and 1 so but in in our case we just need to uh, we don't need to return indexes we just need to return the number that will adding up and it will become the target okay so in some other video I will discuss this two sum problem but if you know the two sum problem easily you can do uh, this interview question as well. Okay. So let me uh, read it again. So hope you understand the what is the problem is. Let me write it here. Okay. Now target is. target is 7 ok so target is 7 so how you will do so if we we want to use brute force technique and uh, if you want to do this one so first of all mm, you take all the element from here take one run one for loop one run one for loop and take the element this element and compare this with all the other element and you compare means take this one and take this next one and add it if you are adding it and it add will become after adding it target it become target your goal is achieved means you will get the answer so take one okay take one and add with two add with 3, add with 4, add with 5 so after adding this nothing it will not get 7 if you take 2 okay, and then 2 take add with next element ok if you are taking this uh, index you have to add with next element ok so you need to run 2 for loop 1 is for uh, length length of list and second uh, you need to remove you need to, no need to, to compare with this you need to compare this i and j here next element so i will show you how to do that one but you just keep in mind like you don't to run the previous things again you need to to run the you need to compare with this element along with other element okay so let this is done this loop is done no now 2 with 2 we need to compare with 3 means Comparing means I'm, I want to tell like to add 2 and 3 you will not get 7 add 2 and 4 you will not get 7 
and 2 and 5 you will get 11 so your result is 2 and 5 okay and then again move to the 3 at 3 and 4 okay don't don't add 3 and 3 here because at 3 and 4 3 and 4 7 so you keep this 3 and 4 here and then again move to 3 and 5 you will not get uh, 7 then again you move to 4 and 5 you will get 9 you will not get 7 so you will get this one okay so hope you understand the logic is using brute force so let me implement this one here so I will just take the length first and length will be length of data we need two loop one is one is running one will run from here to till here means 0 to 0 1 2 3 4 so if you are taking n equal to length data so n will having the length of uh, your list and you can run one loop for i in range n okay and what you will get here you will get g from 0 to 4 okay 0 to 4 now i need to compare this zero element with first element means we need to add zero element and one element and then compare with 7 whether it is equal or not so we are having 0 in i now okay first element is 0 and second element would be 1 okay so we need we can take one more for loop here j in range and this will this will start from i plus 1 okay because i is 0 and plus 1 so next next loop 2 if i is here so i need to compare 2 plus 1 next loop 3 plus 1 okay Hope you understand this why we are taking why we are using i plus 1 here because we need to compare first with second okay so i will start so this second loop will start from 1 and it will go till n okay it will go till n so now i don't want this i will just add if data data of i plus data of data of j equal equal target then print i'm just printing right now i'll print data of i and data of j okay if you run this you will get two 5 and 3 and 4 so you can easily create one list and this this will be a tuple and you can append this one so let me do that one so final final list equal to i can just write here final list dot append and that's all so you can run all the things and uh, you can print this final list you are having the answer okay this is my uh, now you can create functions and return this value you know how to create the function but the problem here is if you find the complexity of this algorithm we are using two for loop here so this will be n and and this is for n so two for loop means their complexity will be time complexity will be big of n square so this is the problem okay miss problem is interview will not interview will not ask me this question if you read this question again let me read it okay till here we read it okay you can see that you can assume that the input list is not empty okay it's not be empty and contain only unique value integer Okay, unique integer you should also assume that the input integer are not too large so that you will not get uh, some overflow integer overflow uh, error okay and your solution should be efficient and run big of n times of complexity where n is the length of 
the input so this is the main line here so you need to optimize your code such a way that you should not use a two for loop here okay instead of two for loop you have to use only one for loop so how we will you will do this one so if you think little bit so to do this if you have if you are having number let me remove this if you are having this number you can you can subtract these two things and if the subtraction whatever the result you are getting after subtracting this two is is there in this list it means what it is nothing but the combination of this and this it will be your answer so uh, here because in this problem we don't want the index because to some problem it is they are asking the index so we need to, to store the index as well as number one also but here we don't want index here when we want number okay so what we will do we will just create one list okay, here we can create one list to store the number now i will i will subtract the given number i will i will loop through the list I take i will take one number here this number and i will subtract this one and seven and i will check whether one minus seven means seven minus one like seven minus i i let me put it here uh, one by one i will get it right for i in list so one by one i am getting it so i i seven minus i i is what one here i nothing but one here so six six is there in this list this is my newly created list so first time it is creating so nothing is there if six is not there so i need to insert this one here okay so if not matching if six is here let's suppose six is here so we will return uh, this number and six so it will my my result will be one and six but right now six is not there so what i will do if number is not there means after subtracting whatever number we are getting if it's not there we'll insert we'll not insert this number we'll insert the given number we'll insert this number so i will i will keep here one okay now move to two to so seven minus two seven minus two let me just remove it seven minus two is five okay so five so five is here in the list we'll compare five with list with this list so 5 is also not there we'll insert 2 we'll not insert 5 we'll insert 2 here okay now the next number is 3 now subtract 7 minus 3 okay what you will get you will get 4 you will get 4 so 4 is there inside the list no so what we will do we'll just insert 3 inside the list okay now now we'll come will now we will subtract this 7 with 4 what we will get we will get 3 so now 3 is there in this list yes 3 is there then what will be my output my result will be this 3 okay this 3 and this value i okay means 4 this is my result okay we, we got one pair that if you add together you will get the target now move to the next so where we have we are having here 3 so now mm, now 5 okay now 4 4 minus we have done already 4 minus this one so now come with 5 so 7 minus will do 7 minus 5 7 minus 5 what you will get you will get 2 okay you will get 2 here so we'll compare whether 2 is there in the list or not yes 2 is there in my list so what will be my output what will what will be my right result 5 okay here this one and what is there in list 2 means after subtracting 2 so this is my um, pair of tuple and we will just insert this into list and this is my output so if you do uh, these things so you will not get you don't have to use two loop to for loop here and but you need to uh, you need extra space for this okay to store the number here 
so hope you understand what we are how we are doing this one and uh, we'll implement this using python code so it's very simple very easy to implement okay so what i will do i will just uh, remove or let it be no problem okay so we we'll just take uh, i will run it from for i and we need value okay value or i is not required okay just for i uh, value value in enumerate enumerate data okay so if you so this value i will subtract with the target let it be here so p equal to target minus value okay now what you have to do if we to compare this p and i am taken i have taken one list here means i have not taken a final list I will, I will take here normal list here so i will take the normal list as final okay i'm just creating a list called final so if i'll if this list is empty right now i will compare whether p is there in the list or not so how you will do to do that one if p in final okay the first time it is not there so i will start with not p not in final so if p not in final then what we have learned here if p if you after subtracting if, not, if you are if after you, you subtract it here okay and if nothing is there so you have to insert the value inside the list okay we are inserting the value inside the list so this is the list we will append dot append value okay and else 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 we will get the number right if it is there then what does that mean it means the number if let's suppose that we got uh, three here we got two here already two already was inserted here and we are having five here so we we subtracted seven minus five we got two so two is already there so what is the pair pair will be my number and what is there inside okay so so my pair will be value and p value and p after subtracting this p value p. So now if you run this so there is some problem here target what is the problem answer to p equal to target minus value okay okay sorry sorry because i have taken here enumerate okay so uh, this will be giving me the some other things so if let, let let me just print it i thought to take index and value both that's what i've gone for with the index but later i changed the mind okay if you see this will be giving me the tuple value okay and i am subtracting this value here so 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 what to do here you can just uh, use uh, i or <coughs> just use data take it only the data because we i don't want the index okay if you want the index and value both in that case you need to take the enumerator because uh, right now we don't want the index just want the value so this is that case so see this map for 4 3 and 5 2 so now now you have to keep this in, inside one list because you, you want your <coughs> output to be there inside the list so prepare one final list okay and append dot append well that's all 
दिस इज इजी प्रॉब्लम तो नेक्स्ट वीडियो में वी लर्न टू सम प्रॉब्लम वेदर यू कैन यू वॉन्ट टू स्टोर द इंडेक्स सो यू गॉट इट राइट सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर सो इफ यू सी वॉट इज द वॉट विल द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी हेयर देर इज ओनली वन फॉर लूप सो टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी विल बी बिग ऑफ ऑफ एन so that's all for video if you want to create function so you can create function using def and what is the function name uh, function name they have find pair okay so find pair i'll keep the we'll create the function find pair and here you, you need data and uh, target target that's all and return it return return final list final list now now you want to call this function right so call this function and uh, my data and means i am passing the same variable and using the same variable so you can change it also no problem i am keeping argument and parameter both are same fine okay let it run it run it and then call this function you will get this value why we are getting because uh, already some data was there so if you run full things here you will get only two this two pair okay so hope you have understand this uh, problem and uh, uh, if you have any doubt to understanding this please comment it and if you have some other other solution you can uh, also mention in the comment thank you very much